Well, Zara, the trot up's done and dusted. Um, how excited are you about building on what was a great performance over in the States earlier in the year? Um, yeah, I'm really excited. That's obviously, he's happy to be back. Um, feeling fresh and, yeah, hopefully we won't be too fresh in our dressage now, but really excited about the course and, you know, he's a... He's a four-star horse, so hopefully he'll enjoy it. He, obviously, he's done a lot, and but he's still coming back for more and maintaining the enthusiasm. Looking at him here, he does seem to have the enthusiasm. Yeah, he definitely has the enthusiasm, and he's kind of... He's probably, you know, had a year off two years ago, so, you know, it, he's hopefully got another year in him, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's on really good form, so I can't ask for any better, really. I'm pleased with you with that performance in, in the States. Did it surprise you just how well he did, or were you thinking, right, we've gone there? We were? Well, I kind of, you know, two years before, I'd taken him, and he, he managed to kick the stable and injure himself, so we didn't even do the dressage. So it was great to be able to go back over um, and my sponsors you know Rolex and Land Rover and my owner got him over there so it was a fa fantastic result for them as well and you know he did what he can do um, and it was yeah it's a fantastic event so I was glad to have done it um, he's yeah he's experienced and he he loves his job your dad's designed the course what do you think what do you think of what he's designed for you this week <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, I you know I wanted to bring him here because he is a four-star horse, and you know he's a good galloper. He can do with the hills, and yeah, hopefully it won't be a dressage competition, and we can you know sort out men from the boys and the girls from the ladies. You know, um, as they as they say, you know, on the course instead of too much you know in the in the arena. And, and just looking at the sporting hole, what the, what GB eventing did a couple of weeks back a really good feel-good factor back to the sport yeah it's great and you know there's a new um team team management and things now which is great and um but you know sport goes like that doesn't it, it goes through peaks and troughs and you have to you know kind of go back to the beginning and start again and you know, it's very much like when you've got a good horse you have to you know when they get too old you have to start <laughs> again so it's it's rebuilding and it's you know changing sets small things and it makes a big difference. Michael, good to see you back here with the Sam. Um, so popular with the crowds here. He's, um, people just want to pat pat him. He's He's been a real superstar, hasn't he? Yeah, he's really a superstar. He wins a lot and he's he's just a really amazing horse. And how is he? Obviously, we saw him earlier in the year, but how has he been since badminton? Yeah, I feel uh, he's really perfect. He's in a super condition and uh, he's strong and healthy. Um, yeah, I think he's ready for Burley. And, and from a personal point of view, you wouldn't mind with the uh, the British team winning the, the gold. You, you want to make sure that you put them back in your place this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a big congratulations to the British team. That was an amazing performance. But uh, yeah, every, every competition is a new game. And um, yeah, I think we are ready. You never know how it works, everything. Um, but what do, you, what do you think of the course this year? I don't know whether you've had a chance to look at it, but what do you think it could be like? Oh, it's a very nice course. I think the time will be very difficult. It's a very hilly place and many combinations where you lost a lot of time. But uh, it's very, very nice build. So um, I think the ground and the weather will be perfect. So I think we will have a lot of fun. And a lot Saturday. of people want to pat your horse. <laughs> yes, yes. I hope they, they fingers crossed for me and Sam. Yeah. And... Uh, then we are lucky enough. Well, hang on. Um, how pleased are you with that um, as, a, as an opening score to try and win the Land Rover Burley Horse Trials for us for a second time? Um, I'm very happy about La Sam. Sam. He was uh, in a very good form and he is uh, a very, very good horse in every three disciplines. Um, yeah, it was not really perfect for the flying changes. I think I could have him a bit more before my legs. That's uh, the management for the riders, but the horse uh, was very good today, I think. Do you beat yourself up when something like that happens and you think it might be your fault? Are you very critical or do you just say that's one of those things? No, you have to be very critical because uh, you have to be 100% perfect in every discipline. Otherwise, you have no chance to win. Here is... Uh, Here's maybe the point, um, the cross country is very tough, so um, you still have a chance. But uh, yeah, that was not our best performance in the dressage. But for you though, the cross country, how ex the, the course here, do you think it's going to be an ideal challenge for you, for you once again with, with Sam? 
Um, yeah, I think the, the cross country is very difficult. It's, it's really tough, very big jumps and very hilly place. It's very tough for the condition. Um, but I think uh, Sam is in a very good form. He's very good prepared for that. And um, also the conditions, the ground, the weather uh, will be good on Saturday. So I'm he's, looking forward. He's 17, but you feel he's got the same enthusiasm, the same joy for, for going to four-star level again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And winning again? Oh, we will see. We will see how the others in the dressage. Um, that's one interesting day tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I think the cross-country is tough enough to, to change something in the, in the result. Don't beat yourself up too much. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver just passed the trot up here at Burley. How excited are you to be back at this competition? Very. Um, got a nice young horse this time around. Obviously, Samuel Thomas finished seventh and best of the Brits last year. Anywhere near that with him would be, you know, fantastic. Um, but the the grey horse, Balamore class, just very excited to have him here. Probably a little bit early for him to be extremely competitive, but. He's as good as I've had for a long, long time. There's no problem talent-wise. Obviously, it might just get caught a little bit by inexperience, crowds and such forth, but at the same time, love having him here. It's a, it's a great opportunity then, you think, to bed him in this early you know, and get him used to this four-star environment? Yeah, um, I think he's, as I said, I think he's probably in the top handful of horses I've ever had and I've obviously had ones that have been good enough before, so... I'd be very excited about his future. And this competition is, is one that obviously you've won in the past. You have gone well here consistently, so you must be excited to bring him here and, and, and test him at a course that you know well. Yeah, um, I love being here. I first came here when my dad rode when I was two years old, and it's a very, very special place, and it's somewhere that I love coming back to every year. As you said, I've had a lot of luck here. I've managed to win it once and had some very close placings as well so no just fantastic to be back it's been a good summer hasn't it for british eventing reflect for me on poland to have the team gold you know it's a great great sign for the future here of british eventing yeah just amazing um can't tell you how much i enjoyed it even though things didn't quite go to plan for me i felt like i did as good a job as i could do on on that young horse um, and hopefully it pointed out a few things for the girls to, to, to go and, uh, and change and whatever, but the girls were fantastic, the whole team was fantastic. It felt like a, a proper, proper team job to me and um, new management were very good as well. And to be a member of that team, it must have been a, a, a real career highlight for you. Yeah, I've been lucky enough. I think that's my third team gold medal and um, probably not had much to do with any of them, to tell you the truth, but at the same time... Um, you know, it's it's fantastic to be to be there, and fantastic for the new management to put some faith in me on a young horse and give give me a chance. Um, and I've got a good bunch of horses coming through, so hopefully I'll be there again and again now. Well, is it good to see you back here, and also the horse that's new to four star, but must be feeling quite exciting coming off the back of some good wins. Yeah, he's a very exciting horse. Like you say, he's making his four star debut. Um, so you never quite know till you till you're home and dry, hopefully. But he is very exciting. He's a good galloper. He's got a lot of blood, so hopefully he'll be well suited here. And, and that's the thing. You you are taking the next progression, but presumably the fact that you've managed to get some wins under your belt gives you the confidence that the four star won't present problems. Yeah, you know, you come here, like you say, off the back of some wins with him, so you're full of confidence. You just hope you've done everything to, to have a good spin, and, and there's always a, an item of, of luck in it. And what about the dressage as the kick-off? Because it, do you feel that that will get you off to a good confidence-boosting start? So his dressage is, is his weakest phase. It's work in progress. His last competition, he actually did a, a massive PB and felt really, really good. Obviously, like we've said, it's upper level here, so it's quicker, it's a bit more intense, so there probably will be annoying mistakes, but... You know, that's why we've come here. We've got to, we've got to try it and get on and, and progress. And, and obviously, this is a, the first event after Team GB come away with a goal. <laughs> Made a different feel for the sport, hasn't it? Because there's suddenly a, a spring in the step of the sport that it's all not doom and gloom. Yeah, it's very exciting. You know, the girls and, and Oliver did fantastically over there, and to come home with a goal is is really exciting. And it's 
like you say, it puts a spring in the, the step. It's more determination for next year for the Worlds and then on to hopefully for the Olympics to keep up the momentum and, you know, be like the All Blacks. That's what the general aim is for us, is to be an intimidating force to be reckoned with. So we've got to build on it. And, and do you think this horse you've got this week is, is a horse that you've got ho high hopes for that maybe can get you onto a team? Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, the teams and the four-star competitions are becoming, in my mind, two separate um, entities and you might need a different horse for a championship than you do a four star so you have to wait and see what happens and, and see how the sport progresses in that respect. Well it's going to be a fun week, best of luck.